welcome back to JR Brick Builders. It's Sam, and just a heads up, this is about to be one of the worst unboxing videos you have probably seen on YouTube, because I'm here by myself today, the boys aren't with me, which means I've got no one to run this camera for me, and my tripod is broken, so I have nothing to hold the camera for me, which is fine for something like this, but when I go to open up this package I just got in the mail, how am I supposed to hold it and cut it open at the same time? It's gonna be kind of a mess, probably, but I'm really excited for this package that came in the mail today, so I thought, let's do a video and at least show it to you even if I can't do it right, because you'll still get to see what's inside the box. This is something I ordered probably mm, five days ago, five, six days ago. I got a deal on eBay where um, I had made an offer on an item and expected them to counter offer for a higher price and they didn't they just said okay we'll take it <laughs> and uh, so I got a, I got a discontinued Lego set here for the exact same price that you would pay for it if it wasn't discontinued let's open it up and see what I got okay I'm gonna slide some stuff out of the way I've been doing work from home so I've got a bunch of things in the way here uh, and I've also been trying to piece together some of our collectible mini figures. We'll get that off to the side here and get into this. Uh, like I said, I ordered it on eBay and it was supposed to get here tomorrow, but instead it got here today. See, here's what I'm talking about. How am I supposed to, yeah, just, just a second, okay? Just a second. Okay, there we go. Got the tape. I'm done here. Uh, what's interesting is it sounds like it's still partially constructed and it said it was going to ship completely disassembled. Doesn't bother me. Anytime you're buying used on eBay or, or Facebook Marketplace or anything, if they send it to you assembled, at least you know right away whether, you know, it's likely intact or not. Okay, let's get into it. Wait, first I got to kind of explain why I got this. See, I told you this was gonna be one of the worst unboxing you've seen, <laughs> but um, the boys and I were really into Star Wars. Uh, they have loved watching the old ones and the new ones. And contrary to what I think has become popular opinion, I liked the new ones. The boys really liked them. I thought Rey was a fantastic like hero to put in place of Luke Skywalker. Um, we loved the character of Finn, the fact that they, had a stormtrooper become a good guy. Like that was just, that was so unique and such a good idea. And it turned into a really good character. We can't stand Poe Dameron. I can't stand him. The boys can't stand him. I think that's, that was a mistake. Not a big fan of that character, but otherwise I thought the movies were really good. So we just recently got the rise of Skywalker on the 4k Blu-ray and the boys watched it and loved it. Well, after I bought it, but before we watched it, I got to thinking like, you know, we, should, we need to make sure we have all the, the Star Wars, um, this new Star Wars franchise, uh, Brickheads. Well, we have Kylo Ren, we have a Sith Trooper, we have Rey, but we did not have this guy yet. So that's why I finally got a good deal on it. Okay, now we can get back to this. You might have figured it out already. Can we get it to come out? Maybe. Oh, it's in a bag. Okay. Oh, well, that's good. <laughs> Here we go. Can you figure it out yet? Have you figured it out? Yes. We got Finn. And the boys are going to be super pumped. Nice thing is because he shipped it intact, it, it's here. It's all here. You can tell. I think there might have been... Oh, yeah, there it is. I was going to say, I think there might have been a gun. So there's that. Um, and we're going to get this out. But first, given... The, current state of things we are just going to wipe this all down with a hand sanitizer before we you know make ourselves sick because we don't know who sent it to us okay got the hand sanitizer wipes which are not easy to come by these days and again this might be one of those things that's a little difficult to do well one-handed but it's certainly better than not doing it at all i had already done the uh, outside of the box by the way before i even started doing the video this is not something I would normally do, but we've been buying a lot of Lego online and especially used and so just and making sure that I do this the right way. Let's get this bag open, which I can't quite 
do one-handed. So again, we'll be right back. All right, got it open. There's, I think, all the pieces. Swipe them down. I don't think hand sanitizer or whatever it is that they use in these hand, these uh, sanitizing wipes, I don't think that's going to hurt the Lego at all. Better to be safe than sorry. So uh, really, really cool set here. Looks like it was taken care of really well, so that's good. Wipe that all down. Okay, I think we're good to go now. So there he is. There is Finn in the storm. I love the fact that, because really you only get Finn in the Stormtrooper um, costume from the first movie. After that, it's all, you know, he's got like Poe Dameron's old jacket and everything. So I like that this is really from the first movie and you get the Stormtrooper connection there because I think that's part of what makes Finn such a cool character. So I will probably take that apart and rebuild it just because I always like to build every set that we get, whether it comes to me pre-built or not. Um, but I thought I'd go ahead and show it to you for today's video and, uh, and we could kind of experience that unboxing together. Here's his gun, which I'm going to assume goes in the hand that's pointed that way. And we'll go ahead and set him on his stand too because... We can. There we go. Looking good. That will go really well with our collection and the boys are gonna be pretty excited. Well, thanks so much for watching. Like I said, short and sweet and probably not the greatest unboxing you've ever seen on YouTube, but hey, Alexa's talking to me. I don't know why. <laughs> Anyways, um, short and sweet, not the greatest unboxing you've ever seen, but hey, I um, hope you enjoyed it. And we'll go set this on our shelf with the rest of our brickheads once we take it apart and rebuild it. And uh, thanks so much for watching. Take care. And if you haven't subscribed yet, you should do that.